All right, everybody. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. I am Christopher Bell, certified public accountant, long-term Boglehead investor, which means, yes, I buy index funds, not cryptocurrency. Author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser, and hater of all the shills, clowns, degenerates, and thieves that have been pump pumping cryptocurrency on YouTube and on Reddit. Now, I get a lot of hate because I don't like cryptocurrency. I have always believed that cryptocurrency is one massive trillion dollar scam that is going to fleece the average person out of their hard-earned savings. You can go back and look at my old videos. I've always said crypto is just this amazing thing that influencers try to, influencers try to pump on people and convince them that they're going to get rich quick, which if you're a reasonable person and I mean, you just understand how the world works. You're not going to get rich quick, which is why I see right through the disgusting scam that is cryptocurrency. Now, I found out that Jackson Palmer, and that's this guy right here, this handsome Chad T, this irresistible, sexy man, the creator of Dogecoin, actually went on a pretty delicious Twitter rampage, crapping all over cryptocurrency. So we're going to look at a series of tweets and I'm going to give my commentary, and then I'm going to show you why he's absolutely right. So to start off, Jackson, and hopefully this is his uh, actual Twitter. That'd be, that'd be hilarious if it was just a made-up account. I am often asked if I will return to cryptocurrency or begin regularly sharing my thoughts on the topic again. My answer is a wholehearted no, but to avoid repeating myself, I figure it might be worthwhile briefly explaining why here. You know, on Twitter, they need to freaking make their tweets longer. So stupid. You only put like, what, 240 characters? After years of studying it, it took me like five seconds, I believe that cryptocurrency is inherently right-wing, hyper-capitalistic technology built primarily to amplify the wealth of its proponents through a combination of tax avoidance, yes, diminished regulatory oversight, and artificial enforced scarcity. Now, he makes some good points here. I would say, yeah, it's probably inherently right-wing. You know, if you're looking at the spectrum of, like, you know, libertarians, people that don't want the government interfering in their lives. But he makes a, he makes a bunch of good points here. Tax avoidance, yeah, these clowns that are trading in and out of cryptocurrency are trying their best to not pay taxes. And I really hope the IRS comes and cracks down on them because it's freaking disgusting. Or people will try to get paid or compensated in cryptocurrency and since it's outside the traditional banking system it's a lot harder for people to track compensation now diminished regulatory oversight yep i mean there's really no regulation of stable coins and it's just a wild wild freaking west and artificially enforced scarcity yes go look at the freaking million token that that moron tech lead made oh there's only a million tokens so the price can only go up that's how these clowns do it. They ba they basically create their own cryptocurrency. And they say, oh, there's only a limited amount. And everybody's going to want to buy it, supposedly. So, of course, you're going to get rich quick. Which is a freaking lie, because it's all trash. Despite claims of decentralization, the cryptocurrency industry is controlled by a powerful cartel of wealthy figures who, with time, have evolved to incorporate many of the same institutions tied to exi existing centralized financial system. They supposedly set out to replace. Yes, I believe the whales, the vast majority of crypto owners, are not individual people. They're very wealthy individuals who created the cryptocurrency or had enough money to get in early. If you own the vast majority of any cryptocurrency, and then you go out and propagandize it, and all these other young clowns start pumping it up, the person that has the majority of the coins is the one making all the freaking money. And all it takes is for that one person that whale, sell their crap, get out of it, and that plummets the price of crypto. So effectively, the money, all the money that flooded in, is transferred to the person that has all the coins. It's the same thing. By investing in cryptocurrency, you're not sticking a finger to the system. You're being a freaking clown and you're getting duped. The cryptocurrency industry leverages a network of shady business connections, bot influencers, yes, I've talked about that, Kim Kardashian, uh, Logan Paul, freaking uh, Tech Lee creating his own cryptocurrency. Everywhere you look, there's some stupid new idiotic cryptocurrency shill that's a celebrity pumping it. 
Why do you think they're doing that? Who paid them and why are they getting paid? Who is benefiting from these celebrities endorsing cryptocurrency? And pay-for-play media outlets to perpetuate a cult-like get-rich-quick funnel designed to extract new money from the financially desperate and naive. This is on freaking point. I have never seen something so disgusting, so vomit-inducing as cryptocurrency. I just can't believe how people cannot see through the scam. It is such an obvious scam. Anybody can go and create their own cryptocurrency. They go pay an influencer to talk about it. All the clouds flood in. They put in whatever little money they have when they would be better off putting it in an index fund or paying off their debt. And then eventually the freaking rug gets pulled. How is this not obvious, ladies and gentlemen? And nobody can explain to me why cryptocurrencies have a any kind of fundamental value. Because they don't. The only reason crypto goes up is because there's more demand. It's all about supply and demand. That is the only reason crypto goes up. And that's how these people keep the game going. By propagandizing it and convincing people to buy it. It's scummy. Financial exploitation undoubtedly existed before cryptocurrency, but crypto is almost purpose-built to make the funnel of profiteering more efficient for those at the top and less safeguarded for the vulnerable. That's true. And another funny thing is, you have all these brokers coming out, like Voyager, Coinbase, Robinhood. They're also grifting off this trend, because for every transaction, they charge a fee. So if you're a young, inexperienced investor, you don't have a lot of money, you go on Twitter, you watch Logan Paul or whatever with his dink doink, <laughs> holding his doink, and you see him pumping this cryptocurrency. Well, if you decide to go buy it, Logan Paul, I'm sure, benefits. Coinbase or whatever is actually holding the cryptocurrency benefits because they get a cut. And by the time you actually buy the cryptocurrency, you've probably lost a pretty significant amount of the money that you invested into it. And God help you if that cryptocurrency crashes to zero. That means you lost everything. It's freaking gross. That's why I don't believe in these uh, crypto exchanges because I think they're just profiteering off you know, people churning their investments. They're making a freaking killing off of people that should not be buying cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is like taking the worst parts of today's capitalist system, corruption, fraud, inequality. Maybe we should have communism. And using software to technically limit the use of interventions, which serve as protections or safety nets for the average person. Lose your savings account? Your fault. Fall victim to a scam? Sorry. Billionaires manipulating markets? They're geniuses. <laughs> That's just so funny because uh, the tech lead guy that made a video about it and everybody was, you're so stupid, strong man. He's a genius. He's literally echoing what all these freaking clowns are saying. This tech lead guy who creates his own cryptocurrency and made massive profits off of it. They all worship him because he fleeced his fans. It's freaking gross. I cannot believe people worship clowns like that who are literally just perpetuating a massive scam. Ugh, it's disgusting. It's gross. But these days, even the most modest critique of cryptocurrency will draw smears. I mean, look, look how much crap I get on my videos. From the powerful figures in control of the industry and the ire of retail investors who they sold the false promise of one day being a fellow billionaire. You know how many clowns have commented on my YouTube? Oh, I'm going to be a million. I'm going to have a mansion. I'm going to be a millionaire. You're a loser. You don't make any money in VT. It's so true. These people are fanatically brainwashed. They have put all their hopes and dreams into worthless trash. And it's sad, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if my freaking camera's still working. Excellent. All right. For these reasons, I am simply no longer go out of my I simply no longer go out of my way to engage in public discussion regarding cryptocurrency. It doesn't align with my politics or belief system. You some kind of commie boy. And I don't have the energy to try and discuss that with those unwilling to engage in a grounded conversation. Yeah. <laughs> Jackson, do not create a YouTube channel. Do not criticize cryptocurrency. Because you're gonna get a lot of crap. I applaud those with the energy to continue asking the hard questions. Thank you, Jackson. I really appreciate it. In applying the lens of rigorous skepticism, all technology should be subject to. I mean, it's, it's common sense how this is a scam. I don't know why this is so hard for people to get. New technology can make the world a better place, not cryptocurrency. Oh, I, I want to traffic children. Oh, cryptocurrency. Perfect. Gross. But not when decoupled from its inherent politics or societal consequences. Thank you, Jackson. 
That was a very delicious tweet storm. Now, we go on Reddit, and we're just going to look at this Shiba Inu subreddit. R slash uh, Shibarmy. So Shiba Inu is one of these stupid copycat cryptocurrencies that came after Dogecoin. And I want you to just go through the posts and just see what these people are saying. Are they desperate losers, or are they actually making legitimate points? I think it's the former. Blah, 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 blah. Here in India, people don't know about Shiba Inu and crypto. Many retail investors lost their money, including me, on Indian stock. Market which is controlled by a pack of vultures. But not the crypto market, no. The crypto market is pure. So me and my friends joined the Sheeb army holding Sheeb tokens with diamond hands. Yeah, he's probably telling all his friends to buy in after him, so he profits. All right, so you just go down the list and just look at some of these people saying. They're, they're basically pumping their coin because they want it to have attention so other people buy it so they profit. Got paid today. The first thing I did was adding 5 million sheep. So this guy's probably a regular worker. You know, he probably has nothing in savings. And he takes his paycheck and he puts it in Sheba. <clears throat> Look at this. The school system is a trap. School should teach you how to become rich in your 20s, not how to retire in your 60s. You know, that's implying that all you have to do is learn about Shiba Inu and you're going to be rich in your 20s. It's that easy, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, come on. Calls about a Ponzi scheme and inability to stake are not true. I just unstaked whatever. Bought the dip, moron. Every pallet that goes out the door today. See, here on this pallet, this guy put our sheep army. The whole purpose of this advertising is simply to convince other people to buy it. That's all it is, okay? Shiba Inu scam coin produces nothing. It is literally a token a piece of crap stinking garbage token and all these people do is try to spread the word probably to their families their friends all so they can get everybody else into the pump and dump scheme after them so they can profit it's freaking gross these people are just disgusting i mean i don't know i've tried to post on this forum but <laughs> they don't like it new video shiba analyst i need to watch that later but i mean you can just tell go to go look at kim kardashian's instagram go look at logan paul Go look at Andre Jeek, freaking loser. All these people are pumping this trash, and it's frankly disgusting. So Jackson Palmer, I applaud you. I think you made excellent points about how this is a massive scam, and I wish you all the best. Now, if you guys like this, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about me, and you have a wonderful, delicious day.